I think they've both run out of ammo. They stopped shooting at each other all of a sudden. And they might be running a little low on gas. Or this could be a mating dance. I don't know, where do jets come from? <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, and for today's episode we have quite possibly the most transformative and questionably broken mod that I think I've ever seen for this game. And we've played with the Modern Faction before, but never like this. We'll start with something nice and simple in the Battlefield Medic. Where they've got their bulletproof vest, they've got their helmet, but they don't have a weapon, they have a first aid kit. Which I'm assuming they won't hit people with. Hopefully. I'm gonna put enough of them on either side of the fight so that hopefully when all these clubbers in the middle bash each other's brains in, they'll be able to provide medical attention? Or... not? Uh... Guys? Why are you all circle jerking one another right now? <laughs> I know they're technically cavemen, which probably makes diagnosing a concussion pretty difficult, but that doesn't mean that their tiny little brains aren't swelling up in their prehistoric skulls. <laughs> oh. Okay, they're singing while they jerk each other off. That's interesting, but I was gonna say, they're way tougher than a priest. But if a priest got hit in the back of the head with a bat, they'd just be cold caught, lights out. <laughs> but these guys don't seem to really care. If anything, they might be healing each other more than the clubbers are doing damage. We could all just watch you guys- Oh, don't- don't hit him in the meat, that's not cool. Oh, stop doing that! <laughs> they don't appreciate that! <laughs> what am I watching right now? Like, this is Tabs. This is what Tabs has become, I love it. Let's bump up the firepower a little bit to a SWAT Team P90. Now the thing about the P90 is that it can fire about 900 rounds per minute, so it should take this guy all of three seconds to kill 50 hobbits. <laughs> now count it out with me. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Two and a half 1,000. Uh, you might want to stop firing the tickle bullets, bud. Okay, and he was torn limb from limb. How did we only kill two of them? I'm gonna try ten of them, which seems like overkill, but at the same time, if they can only kill two each, then they're still gonna be in trouble. And it doesn't make any sense because they're not cheap. You gotta pay for all their equipment and their training and their funerals by the looks of it. <laughs> oh no! We might have gotten the upper hand! Bullets flying everywhere, there we go, okay. So we just needed a bit of teamwork. It's a SWAT team, not a SWAT guy. Again, what am I playing right now? Like, is this Tabs or is this a Lord of the Rings V for Vendetta crossover? I'll be the first to admit, you rarely see SWAT using dual Uzis, but that's because of the weapon of choice against skeletons. Actually, come to think of it, I don't really know if bullets are going to be able to do a whole lot against bones. But you can't easily run out of bones. Uh, please tell me you reload. Okay, good. <laughs> Last bullet. That worked way better than I could have expected. I'm really interested in seeing how the wobbly horse is going to handle a lot of gunfire. Like the noise isn't necessarily the problem, it's the fact that they're giant wobbly bullet sponges. Yeah, that'll do it. With the scar, we're kind of leaving local law enforcement territory, uh, moving into military territory. So it's only fair that we have military face off against military. Our enemy might be military from the 1800s, but it should still count, right? Those shields should be able to do something. They make funny noises as the bullets pass through them. That's attention to detail. Oh, oh, good dodge, boys! Put him, put him down, put him down, put him down. Oh no, no, this was supposed to be a slaughter. Okay, stop shooting the corpse. Way to go, soldier. I was sitting here wondering how they could miss so frequently, and then I realized there's your problem. You know, they got standard issue goggles for humans, not for stupid Gumby creatures. <laughs> they can't see anything. 
I was about to send them all hunting and then I realized that this Snuffy doesn't have eyes. Which really just levels the playing field when you think about it. I'm afraid to use any more scars than this because all of the bullets are actually rendered in the game. If you fire too many at once, it just kind of freezes solid. Oh, you guys really gotta reload just a little bit faster. Oh boy, it doesn't get much closer than that. So here's the thing, I haven't quite looked at this mod yet. Like, I was planning on just going the way we're going, you know, ramping up the intensity of the units, but there are a lot of units, way more than I would have expected. And, you know, bullets are bullets, right? I would imagine the AK-47 and the M249 and all of those are pretty much going to be the same as what we've seen, just different fire rates, different models. We've got a bunch of riot police. Snipers and RPGs and grenades. <laughs> There's even different levels. We've got lieutenants over regular soldiers and planes. What? Sixteen. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's exactly what I would expect a plane to be like in tabs. It's loud and broken and should probably die, but it, it just doesn't want to. <laughs> this is amazing. How... Is this at all fair? Are some of these rocket heat seeking? I can't quite tell if that's locked onto that guy or not. It just kind of has a mind of its own. Like, how would this ever be able to be used? How would you have a, a bunch of cavemen fight something like this? <laughs> they can't even fight each other. I think they've both run out of ammo. They stopped shooting at each other all of a sudden. <laughs> and they might be running a little low on gas. Or this could be a mating dance. I don't know, where do jets come from? <laughs> what am I watching? Can I take control of you? Oh, I regret taking control of you. Uh, yep, yep, completely out of ammo. I got, I got nothing to fire, I got nothing to give. This is just the way it's gonna be. Can I kamikaze into you? No, that would require control over where I'm going. <laughs> what if we go out here? Can we, oh, oh, mm, flying is hard. Okay. First time, I'm just gonna say it right now. We have way too much in this mod to get to in one video. So please leave a like on it. I wanna make another episode where I get to laugh like that again. That is my objective for YouTube, is just to have a good time. And my God, this is exactly how tabs is meant to be experienced, I think? This might actually be a huge mistake. Oh, no, screw it. There's no such thing as mistakes when you're having fun. <laughs> uh, oh no, okay, maybe that was a mistake. My computer is blowing up more than the jets are right now. Uh, no, 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 we're pulling the plug on that. Oh, that's not good. I left to the main menu, and we've got cavemen fighting wheelbarrows. There should be music playing right now, not the screeching of exploding jets. <laughs> like I said, we're gonna break the game at some point. It got quite a bit worse before it started to get better there, but I, I want to say we're down to about 5% jet noise. I can still hear them in the background. <laughs> Maybe we can drown out that last little bit of noise with some... Attack helicopters? Oh my god. <laughs> they just float there! Like, they're the exact- they're the exact same thing! <laughs> it's just a different model on the same stupid broken unit! Ah, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Do they ever die? Oh, I guess they do. Huh. Well, the biggest unit in the mod is called Transport Plane, but I don't really know what it is they're 
transporting. Uh, what? <laughs> I clearly just laid a unit and I saw a little something there for a second, but I, I think it went underground. Am I losing my mind? Are my planes under the ice right now? Or are they screaming in the sky? Of course. <laughs> so, do you guys do anything? Other than play air chicken, kind of hover there like helicopters. What if I take control of one of you? I should just be able to, yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's just kind of fight him. I guess, oh, they've got paratroopers. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? That's amazing. Oh, and they're even all different. We've got some scars, we've got some AKs, we've got a bunch of other units that we haven't seen before. You're all wearing the same color, so it's probably difficult to see who's an ally and who's an enemy. Are the planes shooting? at each other? No, they're just kind of playing up there. Weird. I really like the transport plane. That's probably one of the most clever units I've seen introduced to this game. Hopefully them being inside of one another is strategic. Not a huge mistake on my part. But I want to see if we can shoot down the plane itself, like before it releases all of the paratroopers. We do have a uh, blackbird. Yeah, you look wobbly enough to shoot down a plane. We wouldn't want to use a bomber. The F-16 is way too low. We do have missile launchers. Maybe you guys would be able to reach planes? Oh! I was under the impression there were going to be guys with missile launchers, like handheld weapons, but they're actually on little battery turrets? And they definitely fire missiles? Okay, good, good. Are they... They're not going up towards the planes. Oh, and the paratroopers could shoot from the sky. Well, isn't that just great? So you're all dead and we are left with a bunch of missiles hanging out. They'll find a target once they land. <laughs> Delayed missiles, ingenious. How's that Blackbird doing? Uh, um. I don't know how it's doing. It's doing all right. Uh, I'm honestly at a loss for words. <laughs> what just happened? Holy shit, I haven't seen an explosion that big in tabs ever. Like blue team won, so it was blue team the blackbird? No, blue team was the paratroopers. So the Blackbird detonated or flew into the planes, whatever the case may be, but didn't get everybody. He almost took out the whole map though. How did I not realize they have tanks? It's the very first unit. I've got to try a tabs tank or two. Oh, oh, uh, should they be sniffing the ground in front of them like that? Again, they're not color-coded, so let's just hope they can figure out who to shoot at or drive in to drive under. Whoa, whoa. Again, like, this could be tank combat. This could be tank mating. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm willing to bet they shouldn't be underground. <laughs> Subterranean tanks are the most dangerous type. Uh... Yeah, I don't think this is gonna end well. I don't think this has started well, actually. I'll admit the modern tank division has seen better days, but we are on the Renaissance map, so I'm really curious what would happen if we had them face off against Da Vinci's tank. Technically, Da Vinci's tank costs way more, but I get the feeling this isn't gonna be a particularly close fight. They will fire a whole lot of cannonballs, but that is about the equivalent of throwing pebbles at a car. This is really interesting. It looks like the mod comes with stuff that aren't units. Right? We've got guided missiles and artillery, but if I summon it, 
it doesn't summon like, our artillery. I'm really hoping that if we get all these hobbits to run into one another, then they should get hit by an artillery strike. <laughs> I like that. If that's the case, then what exactly does a guided missile do? Okay. So we don't have to pay for those who shoot the missile. We just buy a missile ourselves. And that way we don't have to share any of the Hobbit slaughtering fun. <laughs> These explosions are really next level for dabs. Let's say you're walking down the street and you see a group of innocent farmers being attacked by a pack of ninjas. What do you do? Y you can't just call for help. Or can you? Because apparently we have reinforcements. And I'm not seeing any reinforcements, but I'm hoping if I do a little something like this, maybe they'll appear? Oh, they, they legitimately uh, appear. Oh, some of them tunnel out of the ground and others fall from the sky. Ah, <laughs> oh, stupid ninjas never saw it coming. I can't finish the episode without seeing what the minigun does, especially if it's going to be wielded by a tiny tabs juggernaut. Can you guys duel for me, please? Oh, they have legitimate bulletproof armor. What? Okay, I didn't expect that. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And it's like I said, I would love to continue taking a look at this mod, or mods like it, because they just add so much to the game. I never thought I would see modern vehicles work in a tabs game. And I know that last episode I mentioned a tournament. I am still kind of working on that. You know, it, it takes a lot, <laughs> like a surprising amount to the point where it's probably gonna have to be multiple episodes, but I haven't forgot. It is still something that I wanna do, it's just, how can I say no to jets and guns? But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.